Alice Lee, welcome to the show. Hi, Hugo. Thanks for joining us. Um, Thanks for having me. So I've picked three films on the Epic TV service that are three of my favourite ones of, of, of your films. We've got Moonflower, The Asgard Project and Ortana. Firstly, with Moonflower, you went to Alaska with John Bracey and, and Matt Helica. Um, mm -hmm. Can you um, give us just like a, a, a brief kind of synopsis of the movie? With this movie, I didn't actually go to, the, to Alaska. Uh, I actually, what I was doing at the time, I was really busy. I was moving house and there was a lot on, but I'd been in touch with Matt and I'd backed him on a previous trip he'd done to Nepal the, the year before, uh, which wasn't successful. But what I'd done then was uh, I sent a cameraman out with them, essentially, a load of direction. A guy I worked with a lot called Dave Holster. He's a really good ground cameraman. Not so much a climber, but a good kind of uh, all-round, uh, well, he's a boy scout, so you know, he knows what he's doing in the wild. He's uh, very capable and uh, really up for, always up for an adventure, loves camera work. So I basically send him out there to do all the ground shots and he uh, gives the climbers, Matt and John, the handy cams and he's in charge of keeping things powered and doing interviews with them, kind of tracking the story. But essentially they go to the Moonflower Buttress, which is on Mount Hunter in Alaska. And this is kind of like the holy grail of mixed climbing. It's kind of like the L cap of uh, mixed rock and ice climbing in North America. And they set out to uh, to essentially do a new line on it, which is, uh, you know, there's only, I think there's only about five routes on it. So it's it's pretty formidable to, just to even make any ascent, to repeat one of the lines is something. So to do a new line, it's uh, it's it's pretty cu cutting edge stuff, certainly in, you know, in the Alpine world and, and Matt and John are the, are the boys really. All of the routes on the North Buttress of Hunter present a unique challenge because the steepness of the buttress is almost unrelenting. End of day one. I love going on these trips and on these adventures as much as anyone. Uh, I just couldn't uh, on on this particular occasion, so I sent I sent David and uh, and you never know what you're going to get. I said I I did it before with Andy Kirkpatrick and Ian Parnell on the trip they went to to Patagonia in 2006, and it's really pot look whether you're going to get anything or not because obviously they're not professional cameramen they might be okay they might be quite good you just you're hoping obviously you kind of back <clears throat> kind of strong characters people that you know are going to be good on film and you you hope that that comes through and all, also you hope that you get in a sense you hope you get you know you get a story whereas with Andy and Ian they didn't actually climb anything they got about halfway up uh, uh, Sarah Standhart which wasn't even the, the mountain that they intended to climb but it, I made a half-hour film for it. It did turn out to be really successful because Andy and Ian are, are so entertaining <laughs> and engaging. So character goes a long way in these stories. We're still in the halfway at the route. We've done all the easy. My eyes are bleeding from trying to see where we're going. Probably the most intimidating place in the world, I reckon. Bit like around the corner. With Matt and John, obviously, we we got character, and with, they managed to succeed on the climb, which, you know, in that kind of alpine arena, it's it's a massive uncertainty, as it always is in climb, but it, you know, in, in kind of hard alpine climbing, it, it's really, you, you just can't chalk it down whether it's gonna succeed or not. And it's just the spindrift covering you in total darkness, hanging on for grim death, but you just do it. You don't have a choice. Yeah, it's a little bit grim, eh? Oh, oh. Look at that, man. Eh? <laughs> 